Everybody, welcome back. Alright, let's go ahead and get in here. Um. Alright, I've been thinking. I think I want to just get rid of this. Like, the Shatterstone is nice. The Missile Resist is nice. But I think we're so dominant anyways, that's not going to matter. And I would rather just get the extra XP, I think, at this point. So, I'm going to remove that. And then let's see what we've opened up here. So this would give us Chaos Warrior experience. This. Um, I think this is what we want. And we're, we're about to finish that, I think. Yeah, right here. I guess I could have waited one more turn on it, but... Okay, we actually cannot do that yet. Okay. Yeah. The extra eight melee attack will allow them to get more kills too. Now we've got an, kind of enough of these beasts of Nurgle. I'm not sure what the other ones were that we could get though. Um it's just like growth or something. Like it wasn't wasn't that great. What what was it? it was what was the other unit you could get? It might have been plague bearers, which we don't need. It wasn't anything that important. I know it was like seventy five growth in all your towns, which like every time you win a battle. Which, I mean, that that could be good. I just don't know, like, how valuable this is. On the surface, just having one more capacity for the Warband doesn't seem, like, great. Unless it gives you one for free and refills at a steady rate. Because Marauders, the thing is, Marauders already show up without this. Chaos Spawn already show up without this. But, like... Would this allow there to, for me to actually spawn some Chaos Knights? Would they have a percentage there? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I could actually have trolls or spawn Chaos Warriors. I don't know. But then we'd have to go back to this specific place to get it, and I, I don't know. It just seems goofy. Anyways, okay. Um... Now, who had the ability to upgrade into something? Was it this guy? I think I still want to... I still want to go Nurgle with him. I, I was thinking this Ascension of Demon would be cool. But I need... I need healing. Like, that's Nurgle's whole thing. So I think I need to just commit. It'd be nice to finish this before that... Uh, did that, but <clears throat> okay. My Eldritch wins, yes. Finally, despoilers come. My Lord Sinch agrees. Ravish them. Okay, now we have to decide, because we're kind of, at, like, the elves and the greenskins could come at our other capital, too, at this point. Tabelheim's kind of whatever. So I could just go chase down, like, Tabelheim stuff, or I could just come back over and, you know, use these guys to sort of cover my back door. And see if I can get some kills that way. Um, get some experience that way. And then, uh. And 
and then just like push ahead with my main army. What? All with the the thing is, I don't know if I can, like, actually threaten the elves with this army. I need, like, my main army to go up there and deal with them. I mean, I guess if I beat Midden Midland, I could use this army just to kill the little secondary empire towns. Little ones that don't do very much. I will rise. Um, giving these guys the eight extra melee attacks is pretty, pretty useful, though. I did unlock that, right? Or am I just crazy? Is that just like normal marauders that get that bonus? It didn't say strictly undivided, I don't think. It didn't say they couldn't be marked, I don't. It's usually it'll say undivided only. I don't think they're affected. They count as Nurgle units for the sake of um, upkeep reduction. Though. That's one thing magic. I've kind of noticed. I will dark magic. Moving fast. God's bloody glory. Slanishes immerse. I broke the soul from their bones. How on earth does it think this is going to be close? Awakes. Destroy! Going! For the Chaos Corps! Fritter and fire! Chaos Sorcerer! These guys are a bit out of their element over here. Marauders of Nurgle! Pestilent Marauders! Marauders of Nurgle! Blood! Putting in some work. I will see them burn. Chaos Sorcerer. I wield forces from the God of Magic. Sorcerer Lord.
I saw somebody just randomly thought about like milk and cookies. I think that was uh, you know talking about how the flails were so bad with Slanesh, the flail infantry. I forgot the name of it. Um, but Sladesh got those, um, like, whip chosen, and he was just like, it has no armor piercing on it. And it's like, yeah, man, but, like, context, right? Like, everything in Slanesh's army, just about, except for those, is really heavily armor piercing. The reason that you get those units is they're one of the best defensive units in the entire game. Right? It has physical resist, as something like... 70 melee defense, silver shields, you know, like 120, 130 armor. It's basically like the dwarves, the iron breakers to some extent. They don't even have physical resist, I don't think. So it's like, the purpose is not to get a lot of kills with those units. The purpose is to hold the line and then, you know, flank them and kill them with all your armor piercing. And the reason they probably made that was so many people were crying that Slanesh is too high skill cap. They don't have a real front line. You can't do your traditional uh, hammer and anvil strategy, right? With all the flankers, they're like, oh, I got a micro too much. I can't just, <coughs> you know, keep everyone on the front line and charge them in the back with cavalry. So, I think, and I know it's ironic because I'm playing Nurgle, which is one of the least micro intensive, but. For some reason, I just like Nurgle and Slanash for different reasons, but... Um, yeah, we gotta take the money. I kinda wanna wait to devote him, but we're kinda also losing XP by not devoting him. I mean, we have 8,000 or whatever souls, like... I think it's probably fine to go ahead and devote. Now, do I get to keep these skill points, I wonder, if I devote? I will guide children. Uh, I guess you get all of your skill points back. Huh. Or no, so I only lost one level. I thought you were supposed to lose, like, half your levels or something. Okay, so what? He has casting, Nurgle stuff, Vile Enchanter for Forsaken, Spawn, and Feral Mantors. Okay. He can get on a shrine. Hearts of Iron, Voice of the Gods. Standard die. Disease bearer. Okay. Getting the extra souls are good. Uh, this is quite good. Because we're going to have a lot of that. I think I want that first. Root Marcher is good. I was, I did want to go this earlier. Unholy Resilience is also good. But do I have... Okay, I already have Stream of Corruption. I think especially for my secondary army, that's where I want to be. Oh! Oh, I can ascend to... Demon Hood Nurgle. Okay, well that's, that's good then. And that's even cheaper. So I stepped up... What that cost me? What three thousand ish, and now it's five thousand. It was going to be ten thousand total before, and I had to be level thirty, but now it's twenty, and I'm a Nurgle demon. Okay, yeah, that's way better. <clears throat> cool. All right. But I could just do steel tech. I mean, we don't need him in an army right now. We've already got a bunch of this other stuff under control. Because if... 
If I can pass the Gorium eventually, if I can get a mark, I don't know how you get marks or not, but if I could get a mark, then, um, so we don't really need him in battle. I mean, I could eventually get a War Shrine, but I really could use, like, more technology, though. I think I like that idea of just like spamming steel tech. This will also allow me to keep like get some vision of people. Oh, if I did an action, I get this. 15% chance of wounding is pretty good. Good. Alright, now we have some more tech. Not that it matters on that turn, but... Okay, so now the question is... Do we come down here? This is so spread out and try to kill these guys. What is this? Is that Skaven or is that the elves? I think it's the elves messing with that. Can't tell. It's not showing me the corruption. Um, green skins also are messing with it. So I could just like come down here or I could come over here. We could try to take out this. I mean, this is a pretty weak little town. We don't quite have the movement. Or I could try to go take out Black Pit. Uh, like I said, I don't think I can get the elves. Probably. How strong are they? Black Pit definitely has a 20 stack. They probably have a 20 stack too. I feel like it's probably pretty greedy not to come over here. Look out. Stay alert. If they take this tower out, that like, it's gonna be really bad. Okay, so let's do it that way. Yes. Can I make any more? Do these capacity for sorcerers. Can I hire any more to, like, do more steel tech? Yeah. Um. Experience gain. 15% could be good. If I can upgrade them. I don't know if I can upgrade them or not. I mean, death magic's pretty good, too, but... Let's go ahead and grab one of these guys. And then that will also give me vision. So I can keep eyes on what people are doing. How many turns? It's three turns, right? Okay. And then Festus. We can go ahead and take this clown out. Uh, we got everybody upgraded. This guy needs a proper weapon. Uh, yeah, we'll get one more Marauder. The Doctor needs assistance. Okay, and we do have this activated, right? Plus eight for Marauder. Are they getting the plus eight? Was their melee attack that low to begin with? Was it really only 29 melee attack? Can I? Oh, I can just look and see, right? Was it? Okay, it is 29 base. Okay. Okay, they are getting the plus 8. They just have exceptionally low melee attack with great weapons and no upgrades. Okay, alright, let's. Um. Oh, yeah, I was gonna. 
got assassinates. Yeah, we should just put him up here in this army now. Expedite. Training. Now, does he have any upgrades? Path to glories? No. Maybe it just doesn't work that way for heroes. Maybe they have to get a much higher rank to do it. I'm not sure. Alright. That's a lot of archers. I mean, I guess we're going to put it to the test here. Just how much do we need that 15% missile resist? Because we're not going to have it this time. archers. I don't think, like, proper the Chaos Warriors are gonna have a problem with it. But everyone else might. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna run for that again. Boys, just stack up. I don't know why they just don't want you to blob up. Come on, man. It's Nurgle. That's what we do. It's the Nurgle mosh pit. is so weak. What is this here? Low melee attack, low damage, all that. just try to climb up the walls too. We'd still beat them, but I guess just punching our way through the front door is fine too. I wish some of these things could actually attack um, walls. Or, yeah. I don't think we have any wall beaters. The um, dragon ogres can do it, I believe. Y'all just sitting here thinking about it? eventually get perfect vigor. I think that's um, Undivided Chosen, though. You know what? I'm just going to climb up these walls. With uh, the Marauder. Or with the... These guys, though. Chaos Warriors and Nurgle. That could be a mistake, but... He's just like chilling. Oops. Okay, there we go. Wait, did they not open it? He's getting... Okay. Like, those guys cannot go in. Wait. The gate's dead. Why can't we go in? Oh, 
Marauders! Mortals! Why can't we go in? Bugging out or what? Like. It's like all bugged out, like no one's actually running in. There we go. I literally am clicking on these guys and they ran over into the swords. What? My dudes and the chasing. Oh my god. Sorry for the uh, language there, but it's so freaking annoying. They're focused firing my giant, of course. Alright. Run. These guys are kind of coming back. Still shooting him with it, something and <laughs> somehow. Thralls of decay! Warriors of Nurgle! Slay them all! Bring it, ruin!
no, 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 run, come here. some of these uh, spawn here. I should have let the giant heal up. You know, the giant can be strong, but my god, they just really focus hard. Him. Yeah, I mean, I was definitely missing the 15% uh, missile resist in that one for sure. But, like, most of their army was archers. They still didn't do anything to the Chaos Warriors. Those archers didn't. But my more vulnerable units were feeling it for sure. I still got quite a bit off of that. I, I mean, I guess we did kill a ton of units. I mean, we... I, the thing is, I don't like burning it. Just because I want the plagues to be able to spread and bounce around. Kill this army too. Heck yeah. Physician of blight. Casually replenishment sounds good. Um like that would be very good too. I mean my replenishment's already gonna be pretty insane. If I don't... See, if I go for this army, though... Then I can't take all dwarf. And I need to probably... Yeah, I think I need to take it just to get the replenishment. Yeah, I don't think I need the extra 5%. It's possible, but... Oh. No, I did have the good plague. I was like, say, what? Thought maybe I didn't. Yeah, so let's let's go with that. What is a doctor without instruments? I still, I mean, I've said it before, I think Nurgle is the most powerful for a variety of reasons, but um, the fact that they just work so well with heavily armored infantry, like, the, with great swords, right, that they can heal that up, that they have, you know, plagues that can do all this extra stuff. Okay, which... 
plagues am I working on here? We needed rot for the 20%, is that right? Yeah. So we need to spread that a couple more times. Let's go ahead and just throw down. Hope it doesn't give it to him, but if it does, whatever. It's already spreading almost everywhere. Okay. I don't think we need to hire anything else. Taking care of her? Sure, you got it, buddy. Please occupy. Wait, what? Oh, they brought him back to life? No, they donated it? What? How did Kareberg end up with it? I guess you can gift it. Festering stooges. Alright, now pick up the garbage plague. Yeah. I mean, we have so many infections, though. It, it just it really doesn't matter at this point. Okay, we could get one of these. Which is okay. Got quite a bit of armor. Ooh, we're starting to spend quite a bit, though. I don't know how those clowns. Physician of blight. A measure of purpose. So they like got this back, but not likely. They're taking attrition. Okay. Um. Do I just? I think I just let that go. And just come down here and just start burning their, like, actual towns. Oh, that's the fortress. Yeah, we want that. ASAP. Mm. I need to do this cleanly, I think, because there's a 20 stack sitting at Nuln, so we don't want to goof around. Now, I might have to just occupy this. There's a chance I could sack and occupy. It's gonna hurt the public order at uh, Altdorf, but realistically, do I care if I lose Altdorf? Not really, so.
a pretty annoying position. All right, let's just go in this way. You're walking through like multiple towers. Move fast. Yeah, they. <laughs> you're messing with the wrong faction if you're expecting them to move fast. Alright, do not let them complete this shit. Oh my god, they got it, but they're standing on it. Oh, uh, yes! Alright, we got in there before they could do it. No, 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 no. Get, 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 get. get. Better be rocked! Wondrous suffering! Who's left? It's gotta be everybody, right? Come on. Dude, they have no prayer. There's a lot of souls if you burn, but... Oh, I cannot sack and occupy. Mm. And do I care if that town is still there, honestly? At this point, probably not. I mean, the 2,000 gold and the experience is probably better. I mean, I could also just raise it for souls. I don't get replenishment if I do that, though. I guess the replenishment doesn't matter too much. So I don't think it matters that much. 
Should be able to just run past that, I believe. Take out Nolan next time. This guy's kind of trying to do something. I refuse. Sickness is denied. I will not obey. Do I just give him Tabalheim at this point? My Eldritch wins, yes. The Empire. Yeah, I do need to be able to get chosen. I think that's what I need to do. Um, yes, my lord of change. Let's be about this. My magic is yours. Thirty-five percent. They're gonna be on guard. Can I get this one? Okay. Does that, does that put us at 140%? No, still only 120. That's kind of troll, I guess. By the comet. Three here. The nation called. Okay, it just resets it if it's in the same province, I guess. He's gonna walk right by those elves. Um, I mean, I can summon up some crazy stuff. Like, I can get my regiments of renown. I think not. guys do melee defense plus nine they're already pretty strong they heal still super slow though cause terror and get nine extra defense but they don't have the cloud of flies so is that an updated Gloom of flies, okay. So it's basically the same thing. It just causes terror. Swarm of flies. So those are pretty those are pretty strong. <coughs> Apocalyptic charge plus twenty percent charge bonus. Yeah, those are quite good. Huge armor piercing damage. Normal Chaos Knights, I don't think they have that much piercing. Oh. Uh, Certainly not. Unwise. It's gonna be difficult to kill them. Probably. They don't have the proper plague here. Yet. Um, if they try to come at me open field, it's going to start to get expensive. I think we have to have this. 
Giants not going to do a lot against them. Um, that thing's probably pretty good. It's not super fast, though, but it's not that expensive either. I think that should be enough to beat him. Ill considered. I mean, if we can get that leadership plague on him, that'd be handy for sure. So we're about to get a little more cash right there. All these places have plagues. So, okay. I think that's good. And we're just gonna let we're just gonna let this fall. Access, they want to pay us two thousand. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I, I turned that down before, but now we kind of need the money, and we can find something else to do for ten turns. How did this guy get an army back? I don't. I guess the other dude just gifted it to him. Did I just let him have Altdorf? I mean, I think so. No. Uh, I could attack and kill that army like 100%, but. No. I think I'd rather just go ahead and get this dark hold. If we can. Um, they do have a couple more properties. Not possible. If I get ambushed, that's gonna feel bad. Again, I don't really care. If they take these, it doesn't matter. I don't, and I don't think they can probably take the Stark Fortress. I guess it's possible. So, 200 extra gold for 5,000. that's worth you do get extra like some extra things but keep an eye out see if we get any more aspiring champs Nurgling and get a um, Marauder. F 
figure it out next time. Okay, I think the first play is try to knock out the elk. Uh, again, if we no. walk into an ambush, it's not great for us. But I think we can't sit here and do nothing. Like the other option, I guess, is just to run back and kill these guys. But if those are the elves at war with anybody else, you need no, me. it's literally just us. That would pull them out of their town, though. I mean, do I really care if I get surrounded? Ill considered. Play. We don't have that much healing. Right, I'm gonna try it. We might be walking into something here, but. No, nope, no, nope, they screwed up. Okay. We'll do this next episode. I have no idea why they left in it. I guess they just think that I wouldn't do it. This army should easily crush that. Like, this is a pretty business army. This is not as good as Festus' army, but, I mean... That's a pretty good army for whatever turn this is, like turn 12 or something. Um, excuse me. But anyways, okay, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to fight this battle. Should be interesting. And I've got to make a decision with Festus. I think we're just going to go for the Dark Hole. Just try to kill those dudes straight up. And then uh, we'll see what the other Empire people do. I might hire another army to defend my Dark Hole. If they look like they want to go for it, if Brass Keep. If they want to take the other crap, I don't care. I mean, they're just going to be taking attrition, they're going to get plagued out, and then I can just come back and retake it. At some point. It'll be annoying, but I can do it. I think just pressing forward and just killing off some of these enemies, that we, like the elves, the greenskins in the corner there, and then doubling back and pushing in and trying to go for Tabalon. Like, once I get that other dark hold and kind of secure that area, hopefully, I am overextending a little bit here. Um, but as long as they don't take my fortresses, I really don't care. And the other stuff should hopefully just slow them down for a little bit. Um, but anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you very much. Have a good day. And be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. If you'd like to sponsor a campaign, just email me at thestrategyprofessor@gmail.com. Let me know what you have in mind, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.